and welcome to my channel. My name is Natasha and um, this is my knitting podcast. Yeah, so I knit, I do ceramics, I paint, and um, just do a lot of just general crafty kind of things. Um, recently I picked up spinning, so um, in this podcast I want to start with uh, talking about like my knits, uh, maybe touch on my spins a little bit. Um, but mostly I just kind of want to use this channel um, to just show off what I'm making in different ways, um, whether it's knitting or other things. Today I'm going to start by um, showing you stuff I'm working on, um, I'll show you stuff I finished, and I also just got some what I think is yarn in the mail, um, and I've had some fiber uh, sitting around, so I thought I would do a little unboxing as well. Cool, so let's get into it. I'm gonna start with my works in progress. Oh, and um, before we start, this is my koi tea um, designed by Ginkgo B. Autumn from Ginkgo B is amazing. Um, they just have like the best patterns, just very well designed. I love this detailing here. And I knit this in star bath dyes, um, fig jam up here, um, big little yarn co umeboshi, and star bath dyes sapphic spring. And this is all Peruvian Highland wool. And I just love how it looks. Um, it's my favorite thing I've made by far. Um, I think I definitely want to get some elastic thread to reinforce the neckline a little bit to really kind of pronounce that square shape that's so beautiful about it, but I just love it. Okay, so without further ado, um, my most new, my newest, my most recent cast on, well, it's actually like a pre-cast on, I haven't even cast it on yet. Um, after watching Mina's uh, podcast, Mina from Starbath Dies, um, after watching their podcast, I wanted to cast on a magpie tendency. And coincidentally, I had this Starbath Dies skein of Dragonfly, a single skein of it that I really want to use. And um, I had heard that this was a good pattern for using up single skeins. And I also saw you know, wearing a really cute magpie tendency. So I was like, okay, I really have to make this now. And I just love this yarn. And this is um, untreated merino non-superwash fingering weight. And I just love those little purpley bits, um, the green speckles, of course, but those purples are really, really beautiful. And I just think this would look so good um, as its own kind of layering shirt. I feel like this would fit in very well with autumn. And it's gonna be knit on size 10 and a half. So I feel like it'll knit up pretty quick and I'm really excited to like, just see how it's gonna drape. Yeah, I don't know, I'm just, uh, I'm like one of those people who like, I'll, I'll wind my yarn and I'll put the needles like by my whips so that I'll feel like I'm already working on it. Um, but I don't know, like picking out your yarn and picking it up and squishing it is kind of half the fun anyway. Okay, so that's not even a whip yet. So hopefully, you know, give me motivation to make another video so that I'll show you progress on that one. So my next whip is actually, um, it was an old finish object that I didn't love how it finished. So I kind of, I frogged a bit of it and um, I'm going to keep working on it. So this is my Ripple Bralette DK. And this is in Unlikely Fox Fiber. This was one of the monthly club colorways. I do not remember, but I'll try to put it in the um, in the caption when I find it after this video. But I just like, look at this like bluish purple. I just, I love this shade and like how the white kind of moves through it as well. So yeah, like it was, it was knit up. I just kind of knit it to pattern. The length kind of went to like here which is not enough coverage for me. Um, and so I, I have, this is all the yarn that I frogged, but this is how much I had left. And, you know, it's just, it's just been sitting around in my 
leftover pile for a while and I was just thinking like why don't I just use this whole skein on this top so you know it'll be like a like a ripple bralette crop top in a way this is a great pattern like three by three ribbing was not something I <laughs> was a big fan of at first but I don't know it just knits up so fast um, especially because it's DK weight and it's really easy to like go back and pick up stitches um, if you miss them because I definitely miscount my stitches sometimes. Right now I'm knitting this in size sixes which is what the pattern calls for but uh, I started this before I started sizing a needle down for Jessie Mae's patterns and I think it'll be fine. I think it'll turn out fine. But um, yeah, now I know that uh, my gauge runs a little big, so sizing down a needle is something that I have to do for her patterns. So maybe it'll be more like a, a drapey top than anything else. Okay, next work in progress. This is a cozy classic raglan. Upside down. Cozy classic raglan. I'm working on the body right now. Um, this is another Jessie Mae pattern, of course. It's not for me, but I'm just gonna model it. This is an Universal Yarn um, Deluxe DK Tweed um, in the gray color. So it's pretty affordable yarn. Um, it's Superwash Merino. Um, yeah, I just, I, I love a good tweed. Like, I've never made a full tweed sweater like this. Um, it's for my partner. And I don't know, I just, it just gives me such like winter vibes. And I, mostly I actually really like these random speckles of brown in here, which is not something I expected when I first picked up the yarn. So yeah, I've got some length on the body there. Um, just need a little bit more length. I, I used to think sleeve island was the worst, but I think body island might actually be the worst because of how long it takes you to feel like you're making any progress. Yeah, I love that simple raglan detailing. I'm really excited to see this all knit up. Like it's gonna look like a proper winter sweater. Okay, up next. Well, this is a finished object, but because the pair is not done, I'm gonna count it as a work in progress, so. This is a Berkey sock designed by at Broccoli Witchcrafts. And I am using Bad Sheep yarn in Fireweed and Big Little Yarn Co. in Yume. And gosh, I just love the, the that rib, kind of like seated rib stitch. It's so fun. And this um, You May DK has actually gotten a lot of, um, it's gotten a lot of yardage, or it's gotten a lot of mileage to it. Um, I, something I'll show you later, I also knit in that You May DK, so it's nice to see it pop up in different um, projects of mine. So yeah, I just gotta knit another one, and then I'll have the full pair. Um, what I love about this is that they're called Berkey socks um, because they're made, they're designed to be worn with uh, socks and sandals, which I am absolutely on board with. So very excited about this. Next work in progress. What's in here? What is this? Oh, shit. it's a crochet work in progress that I can show you. So I actually, um, I did start to learn how to knit first um, when I was a child. Um, and then again in college, um, thanks to my friend Becca at Becca Knits. Uh, and then uh, she also uh, let me some crochet hooks and taught me how to crochet and or at least helped me with crochet and I just picked that up so fast and then when I went back to knitting a few years later uh just made so much more sense but I still crochet I find a lot of joy in it so this is a lost souls skull shawl 
that I'm making for my friend. I've made one of these before. It's just such a joy to crochet. I love watching the little skulls knit up. Crochet up. <laughs> um, and this is in, I think, Lion Brand uh, Cotton Bamboo. It's quite soft. I don't love how it kind of frays, um, like the ply frays a little bit, which kind of makes it hard to um, pick up the loop sometimes. Yeah, I don't know if it'll catch that. But um, yeah, the ply comes undone sometimes, which is a little annoying, but that's okay. We work with it. Put that back in the bag I found it in. Um, I'm crocheting this on a size 4.5 millimeter hook. Ooh, okay, um, let's do this one next. So this one is a Mio Mai Tea by Park and Knit. And I'm striping it, as you can see, which I'm super excited about. Um, once all those, once the stripes start kind of really working up, I'm excited to see what it'll look like. <laughs> um, so I'm knitting this in Starbath dyes as well, sport weight yarn. Um, this one is called Tender Love and Care. This beautiful, rich seafoam green. And this lovely variegated guy is called Ritual. And I don't know if I meant to use them together, like when I bought them, but I mean, they're both sport weight. They're both in the same fiber content. And I actually just love how these, the yellows in the, in Ritual play off of that yellowy green in Tender Love and Care. This makes me so happy. Yeah, I'm really excited to make a stripey garment. I've never really done that before. Um, okay, this one is next to me, so I'll do this one next, but it's pretty messy. Okay, so I started this um, really wild color work shawl from Florence Sperling Studio. There's not much to it, but this is what we've got so far. I definitely want to pick it back up when I feel like um, I have more time to just do really slow knitting. I don't uh, really do much stranded color work, and so I'm excited to really challenge myself with this project. And I have all the yarn picked out, but there's just so much of it that I don't think I can get through it all. Um, I think this one in here is through the Wardrobe Yarn Company. Um, this gray one is Jawbreaker Yarn Company, and the rest I cannot remember, and I'm so sorry. But if I do, I will update in a future podcast. Last knitting work in progress is another sock. This is the Not Another Ruffle Sock designed by Not Another Pearl. I'm really excited about this one. I, as you can see, I'm right at the ruffle, so I just need to do a little bit more ribbing and then add the contrast color ruffle. And I am knitting this in Alwan Sultan here, this one. Uh, the color is called Gaspa. Love these golden rod like honeycomb colors mixing in with those like rich purples it's so pretty it's so much like texture to that stockinette and then this contrast color i got in a d stash actually so i don't remember um who the yarn is by but it's this really lovely like light tan beige peachy kind of color I've never done a toe-up sock before, and it's actually really, it's been really fun. Um, between the Berkey sock and the Not Another Ruffle sock, I'm doing like two completely different sock constructions. And yeah, it, the toe-up sock actually makes the sock construct, makes sock knitting feel less daunting, I feel like, because you don't have to deal with the heel flap. Um, and for the Berkey sock, let me pick that back up. 
the Berkey sock was really interesting because I actually knit it in a tube and it was just pretty wild just having a tube and then just opening that tube into a sock. It's just amazing. Okay, so that is it for my knitting works in progress. I do have other works in progress for knitting, but those are more of like my abandoned projects and we will revisit those if I ever pick them back up. So my last work in progress I'll show you though. Not a knitting work in progress, but it is a spinning work in progress. So I've picked up spinning recently and I'm just having so much fun with it. I sometimes, uh, I think I get a little overzealous with my drafting and so I end up kind of tearing the fiber apart and then it's hard to put it back together. <laughs> but I'm having a lot of fun. Um, this is my second attempt at spinning, well, my second fiber I've ever spun with, and I think I'm doing a pretty good job. Like, I'm not striving for perfection, but I feel like I could definitely make something with this, which makes me really happy. I mean, compared to my first spinning attempt, which I think is just so cute and dinky, also love those colors in there. It's just fun to see like how much of an improvement you can make just by feeling it out a little differently. And I'm spinning this braid from Kumasi. It's Corydale and they just do incredibly beautiful um, hand dyed combed roving and um, they have a lot of fiber available in their shop all the time, um, so I highly recommend you go check it out. And I have actually another package from them that I got and I haven't opened yet, so I'll open it later. And I already forgot what color I ordered. Oh, and this drop spindle, um, it's a bottom whorl drop spindle. I got this secondhand actually from Make and Mend which is a secondhand craft supply store um, in Massachusetts, I believe. And I got this for a really good deal. I think I wanted the top whorl because that's what I see more often, but um, the bottom whorl, with my lack of uh, spinning experience, I think what it helps with is it helps with the spin because it's weighted at the bottom, so you can just really spin it and go to town. Um, the only downside is uh, when you have the whorl at the top, then you can kind of like, there's sometimes like little notches in there so you can like put your yarn within that notch. But um, I don't know, I think, I've, I think I got it. I think I'm doing okay with it. Yeah, I'm really excited to uh, finish up this fiber. There's this much left and I wanna spin it all before I um, call it good. All righty. So those were my works in progress. Now I'll start talking about my finished objects, of which I only have a few. Let's start with my sprig kerchief. So this is the project that was also on that big little yarn co, You May DK. Uh, I just love these like pastel rainbow colors and like how each of the little flower leaf designs kind of is a different color. And I always leave this tied, but I usually wear it okay i'm gonna ignore my clips but i usually just kind of wear it like a headband uh-oh <laughs> don't want to damage those kind of like that Yeah, I just love it. I wear it all the time. And it's such a simple and addicting pattern to knit. Uh, it's designed by Wim Wizard, by Annabelle at Wim Wizard. And they just, um, in, in their pattern, give instructions for like different sizes of stuff. Um, like you can keep knitting this to make like a scarf or like even a blanket. Um, I haven't thought about what I want to make next, but I definitely am sitting on this pattern and wanting to make it again. I love it. 
Next up, so this is actually a finished object that I had finished a while ago and gave to my friend, but um, they got uh, back to me and asked me to alter the straps a little bit, and so I took it back, and I have. So this is my outline tank, and I knit this in Earl Grey Fiber Company uh, Smoky Quartz. Uh, this is Superwash Merino. And I alternated skeins actually for the first time on this project and I'm really excited about how it looks. Like I've never, um, never done that before. I just kind of accept the color pooling that happens. But I think it looks really good with the alternated skeins. It was like a teeny bit more work, but I think it was worth it. And yeah, so I think these shorter straps will be much better for my friend to be able to wear it as a tank top without like um, without needing to wear like a cami or like a bralette underneath. This is a really fun pattern to knit as well. I would love to knit this again for myself. And I just, it's, it has really nice like drape to it. Oh, all this dust is making me sneezy. Okay. Final finished object alert which i just cast off yesterday this is a sheer v sweater very excited about this because this was actually a project that i had abandoned on sleeve island and it was at the bottom of my whip pile and i picked it up like a week or two ago and i picked it up and i just ended up finishing it i'm really excited about it it's like one of those projects that I started when I feel like my knitting skill was not as good, um, but I think it still looks really good. So the purple yarn is Jawbreaker Yarns and Macaron Buzz. This dark purple yarn is Shiso by Big Little Yarn Company. And then that mohair that's doing the rainbow thing is Opalite by Hedgehog Fibers, and I just love how those different colors move throughout the yarn. I wasn't sure how it was going to look with the rainbow mohair, but I'm super happy with it. In fact, this is my size, so I can try it on for you. I did the waist decreases, so it, it'll really give that nice silhouette. And I opted for um, I opted for the contrast cuffs because I actually thought I was gonna lose yarn chicken. I didn't end up losing yarn chicken, but I kind of like the contrast cuffs anyway. And I think like that mohair gives it a really nice drape that it wouldn't have on its own. Yeah, I'm really happy with this. And I would definitely knit this pattern again. So I'm giving this one to my friend, but I'll have to find a different yarn to make this for myself with. But yeah, I'm so excited about it. Okay. So those were my, um, those were my knitting projects. Uh, yeah, let me do a quick unboxing since we're already here. So I have these three and we're going to start with the fiber. I know this is the fiber. Aww. They always include like extra fiber, which is so nice. So this is the extra little bit of fiber that they included with the package. It's so sweet. Like what a what a beautiful thing to be able to do to just like give extra fiber away. I love that. So that's the little extra bit. Oh, so much yarn is gonna be made from this. If you can't tell, I just pinks are my weakness, and pink and orange is probably one of my favorite color combinations in the world. 
So I don't really know much about spinning, like chain plying or fractal spinning or anything like that. I'm just trying to get the motion down really. So just whatever color comes next is the color that I spin. <laughs> I don't do it um, consciously or anything, but oh my gosh, it's just so much fun to like squish. And um, I'm so excited to spin this. Oh, and this is uh, Falkland, hand dyed Falkland. <laughs> okay, next we have package from Wandering Flock, which I don't remember ordering. So let's see what's going on. I think this is a gift. Oh my god, what? This is like a surprise gift. <gasps> It's a shawlography pastel tone kit from Wandering Flog. I have a suspicion I know who got this for me, but this makes me really happy because look at these colors. Oh, this is such a joy. Look at these colors. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I'm so in love with this. Especially, okay, so I have a skein of this, but I was scared to include it in my, in my, um, in my shawl spread. So I'm excited that this is going to be able to be included. Yee! Oh my god, they even match my earrings. <laughs> I'm so excited about this. And I'm definitely going to text my friend who I think got this for me after this. I, I can't, I can't even handle this. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, the make-along, the mystery make-along for Steven Knits. I've not done a mystery make-along before. I'm so excited about it. And it starts in like a little over a week. It's amazing. Okay, it's getting really long, so I gotta finish this up. Last package. Oh yeah, this is from Starbath Dyes, and all their colors are really beautiful. Like, I have no idea how they're able to get such vibrant colors from just plants, uh, but they do a really good job. And this, and they do Zodiac updates, which is super exciting because this is their Virgo season update. It's like this blue and gold. I love this is a soft fingering untreated merino and then this one is silk linen fingering called devoted to the details very Virgo season appropriate also happy Libra season I love this I have more um, silk linen fingering that I want to use but yeah this is so sweet I love their yarn so much. Um, highly, highly recommend. I think I I use their yarn almost most frequently these days. Um, and they also have really great options for um, yarn that's not super wash, if that's what you're looking for. So yeah, that is what is going on with me knitting wise, but um, thank you for watching. Um, let me know what you think of my projects. Um, let me know if there's something else you want to see from me. Ooh, let me take a sip of my tea that I forgot about actually. This is uh, my Coco Spadoni mug. Speaking of ceramics, maybe I'll show some of my ceramics on here um, if they're good enough. Yeah, I don't want to limit this to just knitting, but anyway, this is going on. This is uh, gone on a little long, so. I'll just end it right now and say thank you for watching and hope to see you next time. Bye.